and welcome back to another episode of Seven Days to Die. Last episode we cleared out this church that I am currently stood in front of. There was, or we didn't clear it fully out, but we cleared the first wave of enemies in it. Um, and then it was sort of getting a bit sort of long for the episode, so I kind of stopped it halfway just to get a tester of what um, the video sort of is going to how it's going to be but I think I'm going to carry on I enjoy seven days to die I might even invite a friend or two on for some dual survival horde nights but we shall see this episode though we will be clearing the church so I think you can do it just a little bit of shortcut and just cut up here I believe oh there's some Barbed wire. <laughs> Lol. And my item needs repair. What can I do? Can you. How do I uh, repair? It's been a while, sorry. It's been a while since I've uh, played Seven Days to Die, so. I probably. That's that one gone. And apparently I can still hit it even though I'm walking through here. Unusual, but. Whatever works, right? Oh, my mouse sensitivity is up a little. Let me just adjust that a little. Uh, I don't think some of the controls. Look, sensitivity. Let's go down a little. There you go. Yeah, that's, that's fine. So, let's carry on up, I believe. Is this trapped? No. It's the other one that's a little bit trapped. Okay, tree, you are crazy. You are literally going into the wall of the church. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing there. Oh yeah, I have to go down around the side, I believe. Yeah, around here. And then, to make a very precarious jump with a bird hit. I'm going to try to hurry into the building. Nope, I died. That went well. So, we're already dead, so we did not survive seven days. <laughs> that was two minutes into recording, and I died. Let's call on my bed. The reason we put it outside the church. I knew I was low on health, but hey, I actually believe I still have not found out the setting to disable that yet. Because all the settings say just drop your backpack on there because I want to keep my hot bar. I'm not that harsh to drop everything. But apparently it still picks up all my items. So I don't know if it's a bug with the world or what. But let's try to kill these guys before they kill me this time. Well, they've just gone. Let's leave them for now. And they're gonna come. Oh. Not twice in one right? One go. Oh, that's why. Because they're waiting for me up ahead. You are a crazy motherfucker. No scope. Where's the second one? Do not believe he is here. Search your weapons bag. Oh, we got a double barrel. We got an AK. And a pistol. Apparently, and a stun battle. We apparently got everything. We have one weapons bag that we, or not need, but one. Bandages and a splint, that'll be good. In case I accidentally fall. Cool, that's this bird. I really want bones. Yeah, let's get some bones. There you go. Don't think that's anything. Sham, sham, shield, sealed box. That's it. Can't speak today. Let's get this one. No. Got you. Getting better at shooting those guys. Ooh. Rebar frame blocks. That would be good for survival. Got two iron. I do not believe I have any lockpicks. No. 
that'll take a long time. So I will get back to you once I've hit this a lot. Welcome back. It is now on 27 hit points out of 10,000. It's probably taken me a while to do this. I've used the pickaxe, it's a little quicker. So let's search it. It's got a scope, iron reinforced club. I'm just going to scrap that straight away. Can I wear them? Scrap the cowboy goats. Scrap. Oh, we got a level 4 jump turret. I think we already have a shotgun. I'm going to scrap that one. Get the ammo. Iron gloves. Wear them. Iron surge hammer. I'm going to scrap. I'm going to scrap them once I have the chance to. Because I do not really want that club anymore. Torch on the end there. In my inventory, I will have a shotgun out and a pistol. Iron helmet, do I have one? Nope. Chest, that's literally a direct upgrade. And arm plate. Oh, I just brought my steam overlay. So, let's use a pistol to start with because I prefer it over the rifle. I am, however, a little encumbered. So. Let's make our way down with hopefully not falling all the way to the bottom. That was very close. I jumped a little early there. I really should not be doing this while encumbered. If anyone is afraid of heights, do not let down. Because uh, that's scary. Imagine that in VR. Oh my god, I would n I would not leave this church if this was VR. Uh, oh my god, apparently I can hit them from up there. That's weird. I do believe the crypt has some good loot here as well. Don't want to waste time. Uh, probably. Um, so... Yeah, that should probably be censored. That's a stripper zombie. She has some nice boots on that, apparently. Oh, and I get caught on every bit of barbed wire, apparently. Yeah, I don't hit these spikes, just sticking out casually. Nope, I'm a poor shot. I've worked this out already, I'm a very poor shot. Oh my god. Get worse at this shooting every time. What am I going to spend my skill points on? I think I should probably have one in lockpicking. At least. Um, agility. Would be good. Intellect. I kind of want the advanced engineering. I'm probably going to get that. And I'm just going to increase it into base intellect so I can get possibly grease mechanic uh, monkey and get the bicycle or the mini bike increase our transportation time significantly okay. storage chest let's store old sand machine with let's scrap these now them in there, don't need them. Metal chain mod. Clubs, cool. Wood splitter, don't have the fireman's axe yet, so don't really want to use that. We don't need half of this rubbish in our inventory. And is probably worth keeping. And keep all the bullets. Let's have a melee weapon out. Um, Let's get another double barrel. The double barrel is good, but it's also um, best to keep for the horde night, I would say. At least it's my opinion that I think that should be kept for horde night. I believe the crypt's around this way. That's going to be a good building to raid. It looks like there's a lot of stuff there. Like, a lot trying to see. I can't see a sign of saying what it is. 
whether we know what we're getting there. Is there some valves? I don't know. Is there hidden loot here? Unlocked. Let's keep going. Into the crypt we go. Uh, yeah, we're we'll gonna pick everyone up. Oh! And, uh, there was uh, some broken floorboards there. They really need to improve their structural integrity of the uh, building. It's getting poor. It's really good for headshots, but that was a bit panicky shooting. He would not die. He still is not dead. Um, Okay. Nope, that's not working, that's a tough one. Stunned me as well. Damn idiot. See, this is where you really need to go for these loot, these loot buildings. Yeah, food and coffee and honey. There's nothing there. I believe this place is huge. And there's cupboards everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Oh yeah, it's a good case. I'll do that in a minute. That's the other side. That's a locked door. These are good for schematics like that. Like that. Each one of the bookcases can be done. Um, that's another schematic steel spear. If you get the right ones of these, you can. You don't even need to like, learn the intellect stuff to build stuff. But they're much more rare. You get these books that give you good bonuses, which is mostly what it's used for. Looting. So she cabinet. Some peas. Is there any books? There's a cabinet. And some bookcases. So if you have a look here, like arrow recovery. 20% more arrow and bolts from your target. So if you shoot a target with a bolt or an arrow, you have 25% a 20% more chance to retrieve them from the body. And this one, Magnum does more damage. This one you learn how to build. The crossbow. Oh, that was not what I meant to do. This clerk. Oh, there's some bookcases. Teach you how to craft the large tank monster. That's like increased fuel for the vehicles. Burning shaft mod. Ooh. I think that just does melee damage more damage, or it sets them on light. There you go, that's 4x4. Four truck schematic. You then need a couple others to build the 4x4 truck. You also need to make steel, which requires a crucible, and the crucibles are hard to make and hard to get. Hard to loot, so that's quite a way down the uh, line. I believe I've got all of that. There's a locked door over there, but I think open doors are going to be better. That's everyone woken up by me just apparently walking. Okay. See how my abilities improved. Not much, probably. Nope. My ability to shoot is not any better than it was. You're dead now, yes. Ooh, that's gonna be good. I need to grab that first. Molokov, cocktail, ammo, a thing, and a stumper town. Okay, that wasn't actually that good. Those yellow loot ones are usually pretty good. So. Okay, I hear another zombie. There he is. Come on. There you go. 
Okay, a spotlight schematic. I believe I can get through here fairly easily. I do think the stun baton is pretty useless. But I carry it just in case. I think I one shot him. Yeah, there's a lot of coffins. And I think coffins have a lot of chance at ammo. Speak of the devil. We get a ton of ammo. Okay. Try to be cautious because I don't really want to take too much more damage. Do they? Ooh. That's to go back up. Okay, I'm going to leave that for now because I don't want to go up. I want to loop down here. I believe it might be like the end loop room. Of the dungeon area, I believe, but I might be wrong on that. It's been a while since I've really played this game at all. I really should have checked left and right there. First. I'm just waiting for the cot for the one of the coffins just to peel open and the zombie comes out and starts attacking me. Now that would be awesome game mechanics, but I don't think it's something that's actually in the game. Not yet, anyway. So you just get a ton of bullets from coffins. I don't know why people like being buried in their coffins. So we've got a locked door bar hanging in the back one room, and then we've got this staircase up here. I think let's take the staircase first. It's my food and hunger light. Food and water could do with a bit. Okay. Let's use that. So I'll pick that up. And use some water. Hopefully that'll get us up a little bit. My pistol is almost broke, so I'm gonna have to be using my Rifle again. It's a bit of a broken wall there. That does not sound good at all. That was not loaded. Why did this gun unload itself? Why am I using the stun baton? It is useless. That went badly wrong. Cool, and now I am infected. So I believe I can have this jar of honey and it will cure my infection. Okay. I need some loot for health. Uh, did I put bandages? But I think that might just be for my max health. Okay. Made sure this gun is reloaded this time. I can hear more, so I'm going to retreat. Because I've got no nothing else. I don't even have any blocks. Sounds like I'm trying to break through somewhere. I'm gonna come back and loot in a minute and just. Okay, so it seems to be pretty set at the moment. Spooky because I have no idea where they are. I think what I might do is that. Uh, so I'm going to do it and I'm going to do a very quick cut. Just to make sure they're not in the staircase. I have a funny feeling they may be waiting for No. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a very short cut here and I'll see you back in a second. I will run all the way back through this church, 
and drop off my stuff. So I'll see you in a second. Hello and welcome back to a very uh, short bit before the next cut. But basically I've tried to go upstairs and there is a ton of zombies from the night time. You can probably see them trying to break through this door. What I'm probably going to do is I'm going to do another cut here and come back to you when it's like 6am in the morning in the game time. So I can go upstairs and I can drop everything off and then I'll come back to the looting. I possibly might even go out of this place and come back at a later stage. But at the moment, I can't go anywhere that way. I could go that back through the dungeon, but it would mean I'm literally uncumbered for the rest of it. So I'm going to do another cut here and I'll see you back in the morning. Hello and welcome back. I finally made it outside. It's just after four o'clock. Um, so it's just become daytime and the zombies all slow down now. So I've just dropped off all my stuff and I'm actually gonna skip out on the crypt, I think possibly. There was more zombies there, but I don't know. Let's go let's go finish the crypt. Might as well finish it. We don't want to be half done on it. Then we could probably go explore that big building, but that's probably going to be in an episode, of, a whole episode by itself, if not more. Because, yeah, they started breaking through it, so I kind of had to kill them next to that. Almost fell down myself. I could fall down, but I don't believe you take any damage. And it only takes you to, like, the. Does it take you here? Yeah, it takes you just, just under here, so it doesn't take you much further forward. Still that locked door, but I believe that's probably what we're going to come up to for the exit. So I'm going to come back down around here, up these stairs, and then this is where we left off. Just here, or just around the corner. Just here, let's... Um, find out there's a little zombie there. That's bad, that's very bad. Oh, that is so bad. I was almost trapped. Oh, that didn't even make noise. Very, uh, he is sprinting down those stairs. Apparently, he can now sprint infinitely. Oh my god, I am on one hit point. And apparently, I'm crouched now as well. Oh my god. And halfway through there, my chair was falling down, so that was really good for combat, wasn't it? Uh, real professional. I need to tell the chair to be more professional. Okay, so that was quite disastrous and both of our guns are destroyed. Should really have grabbed a shotgun, but I kinda wanna save that for all night. Okay. Do believe that's why we went right and up and around, so. Uh, more zombies. I believe both of these require repair. Oh my god, I just apparently swung that past his head. Come on, sprint away. Okay, he's quite strong apparently. And he can't get knocked over. This is, this combat has changed so much since our last play. Look at that! I hit him, so with a giant sledgehammer, and then he has the time and the ability to sprint towards me. Uh, 
zombie mechanics in this just don't work. There's nothing there. That was a can. I do believe I've been there. This one now just going up. We come out here, which is the other side of that. I have a funny feeling this is just going to take us to the, the roof. I believe. So the crypt is the way up to the roof. It's a bad situation. Oh, there are more downstairs that have somehow gone past. I'm sure I checked it and they get past. She dropped a bag. He's not there. He's there now. So what's in here? Bullets. Cash. Apparently steel. That zombie apparently had bullets and steel. Oh no. It's incredibly nice for her to drop it. Wow, well, okay. And that's the main church. Okay, cool. So the crypt just leads up to here. Okay, that is us done for the church for the moment. I think I'm going to put these two in here because I have no repair kits. Um, along with that, and I've got scrap something. Tin cans can be scrapped um, with that one. It does fit in there. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. That can then, uh, gonna have to keep, uh, I'm gonna dig on my hopper. Oh, <laughs> uh, what am I gonna scrap? Come on, I think that, that'll do. And then that leather dust, I think, there. I could probably scrap that as well, I could scrap that. Got shotgun shells, and that can go in there. Take the shotgun out, there you go. Now I'm all set. Okay. So what building do I want to raid? I probably I've got a map. I've got the map that says the base is there. Fire stations aren't great. I think they may have a safe or so, or two, but I don't think they're that good on loot. I think that's great. Empty sedan, I think. I think that bus is not too bad, that station. Oh, it's got a fair few zombies there, I believe. Okay. Search the uh, bus. Shuttle bus. Ooh, it has a claw hammer. Claw hammers are pretty good. I believe they replaced the stone axe for upgrading stuff. That did not sound good. Okay, apparently I can hit from the impossible range as well. Okay, I think that might be going wrong. Is I can hit a lot further away than I can anticipate. So I can hit him that way. So I think that's where I'm going wrong with this game. Is, uh, ow. Ow. Because apparently, uh, I think I'm thinking I need to be closer than I actually do. So I've got some fuel. Pass and gas. I think that's some car parts and stuff. Ooh, a level 3 claw hammer, nice. And a claw hammer schematic. A shovel, an iron shovel, and a bicycle chassis, nice. That's quite good. That is. 
Why don't I military use it? I think that's from my level up. Yep, there are zombies in it. You normally always get alert when you loot the bus. Stamina. Oh. Get some more. And what the hell did he do? No idea. He just decided it was easier to jump over that fence. Okay. Don't particularly want to use the shotgun if I can help it. This destroyed you. Oh, a steel pickaxe. Wow, okay, that just, that's just stupid. The steel pickaxes are quite late game. Or they are later uh, game, but generally, I'll be honest, I skip them normally. Because then I go straight to Augur. I don't want the wooden chair. Do I seriously have to balance? Yes, I seriously have to jump across those. Ugh. Oh, no, I don't. Let's do that. So I get an iron pick now. Some forged steel and carbon. Mechanical parts. Not car parts, mechanical parts. Okay. That was a pretty good hole in there. Oh, what does that say? Condemned? I don't know. But it sounds like it's a Perfect place to explore. I think it just means the floor will give out quite quickly. Okay. Generally good loops down the basement, right? There's a box. Just making sure no zombies jump out on me. That is some broken water. Yeah, they are still working on this game, as you can tell by the uh, little blobbles in the water and the way it flows then across there. Ooh, we have a working workbench. Okay, quick waypoint. I don't want a quick waypoint. I sure want a save waypoint. And then call it workbench. Cool. That way I know I can come here for a workbench. If I need one, that's upstairs. Okay, let's try to do this one. You cannot breathe here. I can work that out if I'm water, but still. I'm also wet. I can work that one out. Load of ammo and a glove. Well, that's useless. You are cold. It's because I'm swimming underwater and now I'm right like close. So useful. Okay. Ignoring the broken water. Okay, let's search for washing machines. They'll probably have clothes in, and I don't particularly want clothes too much. But yeah. Okay, that's that house kinda looted. I could loot upstairs, but oh. Stamina, stamina. <laughs> I don't know how I don't get, like, sneaking around, but what the fudge? Like, I'm hitting you with a giant sledgehammer, and you keep running towards me, and suddenly, you one-shot. I know I was on low health, but that's just BS. I've now got 10% XP loss, and I've got a penalty for XP. Anyway, I think I will call it there for that episode. We've done some decent looting. We've got a steel pick. We've got a claw hammer now. We're pretty well off, actually. We've got some bicycle part, iron shovel. We're pretty set. Tons of ammo. And this is day two. So I will call it here, and I will see you in the next episode. Thanks very much for tuning in. I have enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed this too. If so, drop a like, comment, or subscribe. Thank you very much.